Hi guys, this is, this is actually, this bike doesn't have a name yet, but that's our hope, fully loaded F3 Limited Special Series, and this is no name bike yet, and today's video, today's video is about some service and some upgrades that I haven't done yet on F3 bikes basically, so what you will find out in today's video, well this bike is already loaded with few items like uh, freedom windshield higher one sway bar heavy duty springs for pedal handling it has pedal box it has backrest it has flag holder it has all in the back so you know we have it for our tours and rental agency so tours on 3.com so whoever comes here no ordinary bikes martin the vlogger standards but this bike needs some more love and you will find out today what we're gonna do to it stay tuned because it's gonna be cool. Guys, enough of this. First 500 views, no video ads, and no bullshit around, just a little bit today. Let's get started. First thing today, at service, and to be prepared on the road. Of course, bikes are our bread and butter. Going on tours with Martin, the vlogger, is our bread and butter, so we do take care, very good care of our bikes, okay? Uh, and also, we prepare our guests as best as we can to potential trouble. So we have tire repair kit always, a compressor as well. And this thing I absolutely love. I, I'm not leaving uh, on the road without this. Uh, it's a power bank, but also a kickstarter. So it can kickstart any, any engine up to, I believe like five or six liter diesel. It's insane. Of course, martindevlogger.com for shop. Now in terms of we do oil change, we do uh, k and filter. This bike already do have 10,000 kilometers and it went through first oil change. I wasn't changing the air filter because it was not dirty at all. Tiny top tip, I always put date and kilometers when I did the oil change and you know cleaning or air filter or changing the air filter. Always do it because I'm pretty sure you will forget. I'm old school. So 3,000 up to 3,000 kilometers first oil change, getting rid of small debris from the manufacturing in the motor. So uh, 3,000 kilometers, not even like 2,000 miles. And then I'm not going longer than 10,000 kilometers. Definitely not longer than a year, but not longer than 10,000 kilometers, 7,000 miles, something like that, 6,000 something, 6,000, oh, yeah, yeah, 6,000 miles actually. KNN filter, it's when you buy it, it's ready to use filter, it's, it's moisturized with oil and how to change it and how to clean it on your F3 models. I already have done a video, so martindevlogger.com in the vlog section. k and filter, why? Because it gets more air to your uh, trail bike and two, uh, we have a lot of bikes and actually at the second oil and air filter change, I'm already saving money because I just clean the k and filter. So that's a great thing. These are your mirrors, you touch them and they bounce like crazy. And it's happening on all RT20 models and 20 plus and all F3 limited models. Of course, I made an installation video how to do it. And how they should be? They should be like solid, like this one, yeah? It's called mirror locks. martindevlogger.com slash shop, of course we have them. And the fix is about 20 minutes. Something like that.
this is exactly how it should be done. Not sure if it's really visible uh, on this type of video, but the mirrors are now finally sticking on the bike. And that's how they should be really from the manufacturing. Do I know why BRP can't really fix it? I have a theory, but I will keep it for myself. Now, one thing that we will be not doing, and I will tell you why, and one thing that we will be definitely doing, it's uh, about tension. So, the thing that we'll be not doing, and it has something to do with the back seat, uh, this is a fixed push button, I don't know if you know it, but that's our signature thing. Martin the Blogger is the only one who's making them, we have sold more than 2,000 items of these over the time, and basically it replaces push button that that pushes <laughs> uh, under your back seat so if you have a passenger there and it, and he or she sits there your bike knows that you are too up riding and it acts like too up so it's a little bit calmer it's not accelerating that fast also in the corners it cuts off much more frequently or sooner now i'm not saying you should be using this with passenger it's possible because it can cope up with 200 kilos very easy but it's more when you put a bags at the back seat or whatever cargo at the back seat you can still be riding like one up but your bike because of this primitive solution thinks you have a passenger there even with a cargo bag whatever at your back seat your bike will be acting like two up so it will be slower so that's the reason why we have this fixed push button why I will be not doing this is because I have guests. We have, and we're gonna have even more bikes, all right? So uh, I don't wanna be always checking the rear seat if there is a push, push button or not because of the cargo at the back. And um, simply I will be not doing it at my tour and rental agency. If this would be my bike, and especially be careful with, uh, with F3 Limited and RTs, the rear suspension is automatically adjusting if somebody's at the back seat so what i really recommend use the fixed push button on f3 limited and rt models only when you carry cargo so whoever wants that fixed push button only when you have a cargo there if you have a passenger at the back seat i would i don't really recommend it because the suspension you will be sitting much much lower all f3s f3s you can even have a passenger there it's it's more fun for you less fun for the passenger anyway now so that's the fixed push button that's the reason why we are not doing it best seller of martin the blogger now uh la monster belt tensioner why uh plenty of comments like why you are putting it there why not uh it doesn't help it helps it helps and what is the bigger proof than me putting it on every single bike i have in a rental agency it's additional money and i'm still doing it because I told you at the beginning, the very first thing, bikes are our bread and butter. Going on tours with Martin, the vlogger is our bread and butter. So we do take care, very good care of our bikes. That I do care about my bikes. Now your belt, because it doesn't have anything in here, at around 100 kilometers, 60 miles, it starts to really, really bounce like crazy. Now you using the belt much more, you will need to change it more often. Of course the belt can lease 30,000, 40,000 kilometers, depends how fast you're riding or what style of riding. Uh, but also it uses the rear sprocket and with the, with the belt tensioner, your gear changes are much more smoother. Everything that I do, it's because of the comfort and because of the protection of my bike. So do you really absolutely need it? No, but you don't need lights, uh, like those additional lights, you don't need uh, mirror fix, you don't need flags, you don't need wraps, you don't need backrests. None of that is really needed, but it helps. So that's what the belt tensioner is all about. Plus it has bigger roller, 
And guys, really don't use those plastic uh, belt tensioners from BRP because it's garbage. Uh, more and more I see how they break. This is not the sales pitch, that's the truth. They do break and they can damage not only the belt, which is four or 500 euros, but also plastics around because they, they cut, they break and they're sharp and they destroy everything what's around. Now the belt tensioner will push the belt in those high vibration nicely down. Much smoother ride. And as I said, better and smoother gear changes. Story of the signature lights. Uh, why I do it? Because it's super selfish. I love them. I have one on the Beast ever since it was introduced. And I love how they look. Now, you know that now I have two F3 limiters for tours and on 3.com. And I have four Rikers. And I'm gonna have two RT20 plus. They are kind of with me already and uh, I just came from the dealer and this is a news for you. Uh, I just ordered two F3S special series. Okay, so all of these bikes and when we are riding, I love how these signature lights, doesn't matter if it's on RT, it doesn't matter if it's on F3, how they look. I'm super proud of it. I like the look in the mirror and it's kind of crazy to put I don't know 300 word of light because I'm using the BRP the OEM lights we have them on the shop it's crazy but plus apart from the cool look it's extra visibility they are big and apart from those two front fenders and these side mirrors they give you extra safety and extra visibility and they look cool so yeah Martin the vlogger is gonna have them on all of my F3 bikes on tours on 3 Wait, okay, now this is a handbrake kit, handbrake kit with a TUV certificate, so health and safety, everything for all F3 models, and we'll be applying on this F3 Limited Special Series. We have it also for RT20 Plus, and we have it for Rikers. And what we will do, we will do also these mini, we will use a version of the mini of these lights. However, and I know those are the parts that I never have installed before on F3. But we will not do it in today's video. Simply because I don't have enough time. Tomorrow I have an expected tour. And on Monday, today it's Friday, on Monday I'm leaving to UK to do the installation on the Riker for Christine and John. So Martin the vlogger is traveling to Europe to do the installations for ya guys. So uh, stay tuned on that. I will also do short videos on like how-to videos on those. Uh, and one more thing, this is what I'm working, what you will see most probably in the next episode. It's a new wrap, new design, and I have a bigger plans with that. So first of the F3s that I have, that I will be wrapping by myself with a custom built wrap by myself. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm a little bit sorry that I haven't kept the promise, but it was the very first time, I believe, out of 400 videos so it's quite fair guys thank you very much for watching and remember sorry and always have fun